check this out. From your WordPress dashboard, go to Funnel Kit Automations and then Emails. And now you'll see two new submenu items here, Transactional Emails and History. And clicking on Transactional Emails, we now see emails that start to look a bit familiar. The new order email, on hold email, processing, refunded, cancelled orders, order details, completed order, customer note added, failed order, new account and reset password. All of these emails here that you previously had to edit a PHP file to customize can now be managed and designed using the powerful features of FunnelKit automations. And that includes the drag and drop email builder. For example, here processing order, this email is sent to your customers when you receive payment and you're fulfilling the order. If I go over to here and click edit, that launches the email builder. And now I'm able to design this WooCommerce email using a drag and drop interface, similar to if you're using a page builder like Elementor, Beaver Builder, Bricks, it's the exact same logic. You have your structure over here, which are your rows and your sections and your columns. You drag them from the left over onto the right. And then inside there, you add your blocks. For example, here, I could drag a coupon code block into here and then begin to styling it with an interface that I'm familiar with. For now, I'll just go ahead and delete that, but I could click here and I could size the logo down. Here for this heading, I could make it bold. The customer's order details are output here in a nice modern layout with their billing and shipping details. And then down here, the template that I chose already has a coupon field. Once you've designed the email, make sure you check it on mobile to see how that looks. And also click preview and test. Then use the built-in audit email tool here to scan your email and make sure you haven't forgot to add links to any buttons or that your email isn't too big. And then send a test email to yourself Click send email, open it up in your inbox and make sure it's all coming through correctly. And once done, exit out of here, click save, and then click the back arrow. Check that all these details are correct, like the subject line, and then down here, click save, and up the top right, click to enable this email. And then back here under WooCommerce settings and emails, this processing email, it is already disabled, but let's say that was active. I will just click on manage. I would uncheck this box to disable this email and click save. And now instead of using the native email that goes out from WooCommerce, that email is now handled by the FunnelKit Automations plugin. And if you're not already using the powerful features of FunnelKit Automations, then definitely reach out to our pre-sales team or head on over to our pricing page to see our current deals.